So I thought I'd just uh, start with my background. So I'm uh, currently a final year neurology trainee at Royal North Shore Hospital undertaking a neurophysiology fellowship. I've started a Masters of Philosophy through the University of uh, Sydney Northern Clinical School with Associate Professor Carl Ng as my primary supervisor. Our group is primarily focused on using muscle excitability testing um, to better understand muscle disease. Muscle excitability is a novel electrical technique that allows us to look at the electrical state of muscle in vivo. Recently, we've had success looking at myotonic dystrophy and inclusion body myositis, as well as looking at the changes one might see in ageing or electrolyte status. For my project, we've elected to investigate hyperthyroid myopathy. Our thyroid glands produced ho uh, produce hormone essential for the regulation of our metabolism. Uh, thyroid gland dysfunction is very common, affecting about 10% of the population. Most people have either personally experienced or know someone who has or previously experienced thyroid disease. Hyperthyroidism is a subset of this group who have high thyroid hormone levels. Muscle weakness, typically affecting shoulders and hips, is a common complication affecting up to 60% of patients with untreated disease. Despite this being a common disease, little is known about how exactly high thyroid hormone levels cause weak muscles. There are several proposed mechanisms uh, based on animal studies, but not really confirmed in humans. We aim to use muscle excitability and other neurophysiological techniques to study patients with hyperthyroidism and attempt to determine what's happening at a muscle cell level. This is important as it's a common condition and although there are general treatments available, the experience of our endocrine colleagues has been that the weakness experienced by these often young patients can be protracted and does have a significant impact on everyday function, particularly work. I'm grateful that we've been awarded uh, this Brain Foundation grant and thankful to the donors as it will be pivotal in allowing us to perform this research. But personally, it will also assist me in pursuing research at the beginning of my career.